Oh, my dear viewers, this is not the stuff I expected to see. What's this? Oh, no, I expected to see salted tree bark here in Siberia. Or pickled hedgehogs. Oh, wow. Or, or bare bones. <laughs> but not this. I'm shocked. <sighs> Maybe uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sleeping, I'm dreaming. Uh, and it's not Siberia and I'm still in abandoned Moscow. That is not Russia, as you remember. No, guys, no, no. I'm in Siberia. Really, it's true. I am so disappointed. Where are the empty eggs with broken last year's eggs? Where are the rotten fruit? I wonder. Oh, thanks God, I found one. Rotten potato. <laughs> but, my dear viewers, let's begin from the beginning. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. My dear viewers, this song is not about Siberia. Can you see? The sun is shining. The temperature is Wonderful, just minus four. It was snowing uh, the whole morning and you see the snow is really white and fluffy. I love this climate. Siberian climate is the best climate in my opinion. It's sharply continental. It's much better than in Moscow. Um, and I have been living here in Siberia for 27 years. And I spent my vacations, my New Year vacations, uh, with my parents in Kemerovo city and uh, can you guess what am I going to do right now? Of course, I want to show you the grocery stores of Kemerovo uh, because I want to I want you to be amazed, astonished and crazy a little bit. Let's get started. Not so many Russians nowadays and Siberians as well prefer to visit supermarkets. They like the delivery, you see? <sighs> the delivery of food. One of the most popular food for Russians, for Siberians um, in winter time is ice cream. And everywhere you can see such small stores ice cream I think it's way better for me and for you if I go to the supermarket by trolley bus probably some of you haven't seen such vehicle well, let's go um, this is the transport of my childhood and it's still widely used in some regions and in Moscow I need to go to the free station too. The price for ticket is about 40 cents. And um, trolley bus is supplied by electricity, not gasoline. Oh, finally, after great experience with trolley bus, I'm here in the shopping center. And the, the first great, enormous store I see is... Children's World. Do you remember my video from Moscow about this giant um, superstore? But um, we don't need it today. Um, I'm looking for supermarket. Ah, typical Russian. Famous chain Magnit is situated here in this shopping center and I don't see the end. Wow, I think it's gonna be gripping to check out the prices here in this abandoned Siberia. Are you ready to immerse yourself in the fascinating world? 
of high quality and affordable products grown in the clean lands of mighty Siberia. But guys, I'm warning you. It may forever change your opinion about Russia, which has been living almost for two years under unprecedented imposed sanctions. If I are ready, let's get started. And first of all, let's check eggs. Very popular topic for last one month, approximately. So, you can see very cheap eggs. Just 100 rubles, it's a little bit more than one dollar for 10 eggs. And of course, as usual, you can buy 30 eggs for a big family or elite eggs. A little bit more expensive, but also affordable. Now, these are holidays in Russia. That's why um, there are not so many kinds of eggs. But you see, it's very easy. Just come and buy. And I see more boxes with eggs right behind the corner. No problem at all. Dear haters, are you going to continue to write me in comments your nonsense about eggs and poverty in Russia? Uh, next point I want to lay emphasis on is um, our favorite sunflower oil. You know that it's the base for cooking in Russia and we like sunflower oil. We use it everywhere in cooking and let's see the prices. I see discounts uh, about 200 rubles for for how much? For one and a half uh, liters. Golden seed. It's, I like this uh, sunflower oil. And uh, I see uh, all the trademarks uh, the same as in Moscow. There's no shortage at all and the prices are similar 130 rubles for one liter uh, rather good sunflower oil and uh, and here on the opposite side uh, there are so many um, olive oils from all countries so let's see something for example uh, this bottle it attracts my attention it's um, um, less than ten dollars about nine dollars for one liter and this uh, oil is from Italy oh uh, yeah my dear Italian friends do you recognize these bottles <laughs> or Costa d'Oro I think it's also Italian Again, Italian olive oil. It's great. Dear Italians, we love you and we love your products, high quality products. And as for me, uh, I like grapeseed oil. It's good for, for, for your heart. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I think. It's going to be your favorite section, meat section. It's impressive. It's true. <laughs> As I mentioned before, climate here is um, is very comfortable, but sometimes it's uh, really very cold in winter time. That's why all Siberians are meat eaters. I know some vegetarians, uh, but they are not Siberians in their souls. They live here, but uh, don't like it. <laughs> and uh, what about prices? So, this is pork. 300 rubles for one kilo. Of course, here in this uh, enormous piece, uh, the weight is uh, approximately nine kilos. Uh, but uh, 
in today's uh, rate of exchange it's about three three dollars three dollars twenty cents and what about chicken the price for chicken the best price is 280 rubles about maybe about three dollars as well not much and and uh, this section is uh, really very attractive mm, just have a look different kinds of steaks and meat for barbecue prices are the same around 300 rubles around uh, three or three and a half uh, dollars for one kilo but the meat is is of high quality it looks very nice just have a look and uh, different uh, types of sauces and marinades and you know what's this um, bell peppers uh, filled with the um, meat and just may buy and cook it on your own and different cutlets um, they call it meat mood it's so cute <laughs> And again, meat, a lot of meat. Uh, prices are, are wonderful. You don't, you don't have to pay uh, an arm and a leg. Minced meat. Excellent. In my opinion, it's excellent choice. I see, I see a new delivery of eggs. And eggs are everywhere in <laughs> in the supermarket. I made it everywhere, but let's see uh, what the employee carries in his uh, great boxes. Yeah, eggs. I want to ask you again: Do you feel the shortage of eggs in Russian? even in Siberian grocery stores. Me not. Uh, how, to, how to go between these eggs. <laughs> Truth be told, this is one of the most uh, favorite supermarket of my parents. They visited it quite often. They are pensioners, but they are musicians and they, they still work. They play uh, in a symphony orchestra. And uh, my mom and my dad say that prices here are very affordable for everyone, even for pensioners, well, may, maybe for working pensioners. But when they come uh, to visit uh, me in Moscow, mm, they always say, wow, how can you live in this crazy, expensive capital of Russia? Because everything costs a fortune. I can't agree with them. But prices here in Siberia are cheaper than in Moscow. It's true. Have a look at this bright pomelo. Mm, as for me, I'm not a fan of this. Uh, fruit, but uh, pomela looks always so sunny and so vivid and full of life. And here is the row of different kinds of apples, and the average price is uh, one dollar one kilo or a little bit less, even you see, 90 rubles. And you may notice that uh, apples are not so beautiful as you are used to buy mm, probably but they are natural and we say in Siberia if the worms apple worms eat it with great pleasure it means they are without chemicals what do you make of that my dear viewers I'm not sure that we are in tropical snow but here you can even buy a coconut for one dollar <laughs> You can find even a dragon fruit, you see? 
and of course kiwi and uh, here is the explanation in russian what is what <laughs> what fruit means what uh, for sure mango mango is a very very popular fruit for russians and even for siberians 300 rubles for one kilo uh, every so often I pay attention to the salt and sugar uh, because uh, these are the products of uh, utmost importance for people. And guys, here in this section I counted more than 20 trademarks of different kinds of salt. It's really uh, very cheap, it's 12 rubles for one kilo and more of course sea salt uh, costs uh, a little bit more and pink salt and salt with herbs mm. so many varieties and uh, as for sugar you can buy uh, a big uh, um, big portion <laughs> of sugar for your family for example uh, for example I don't see the quantity ah 10 kilos 10 kilos plastic bag with 10 kilos of uh, sugar costs uh, 630 rubles uh, it's about uh, seven dollars for today's rate of exchange and uh, white sugar and brown sugar and sugar without sugar <laughs> and uh, then uh, I see the flower again different kinds of flower bean flower nut flower soy flower rice flower and coconut flower uh, and uh, and just ordinary flower for uh, one dollar for two kilos one dollar for two kilos of high quality flour and I uh, often uh, show you uh, spaghetti and noodle section and uh, let's check out what's going on here again abundance I don't know what to start with of course there are uh, so many expensive uh, foreign, not Russian, uh, spaghetti. Uh, it costs a fortune. <laughs> yeah. And uh, our favorite barilla. Yeah, I see. A stand with barilla. Prices are the same as in Moscow. 80 rubles for for half a kilo of uh, fantastic spaghetti. We like barilla. As for me, as for my family, we buy only barilla. And this is not an advertisement. Barilla don't pay me still. Why not? <laughs> and um, makfa, also uh, very popular in Russia and uh, the price is a little bit less than uh, for Barilla, it's uh, 60 rubles and of course uh, uh, there's a corner with the very 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 cheap pasta I don't know I don't know why but you see it's uh, just uh, 16 rubles it's 20 cents for half a kilo. I invite you just to walk around this tour and uh, maybe you can see something extraordinary. Uh, the store is really giant for uh, this city. There are many supermarkets. In every district uh, there are maybe 10, 15, 20 supermarkets like this. And the population, I remind you, the population of Kemerova is only um, half a million of people. And I see uh, different kinds of champagne. And alcohol section is great as usual. Uh, Russians like to drink uh, alcohol. My family drinks not so much, but uh, they prefer champagne and dry wine. 
but some people prefer cognac and vodka. What about Martini Brut? Um, it costs an arm and a leg, 1200 rubles, very expensive. But in Moscow it's expensive as well. And uh, cognacs are here. Just 600 rubles for, for one liter, no? I don't see. Ah, no, half a liter, yeah. Today's rate of exchange is one dollar is um, um, almost 95 rubles. So divide all prices by 95 or by 100, it's more comfortable. And you'll get price in dollars. A great deal of wines. Uh, I'm not going to comment it because because I'm not an expert in wines. Okay, what about drinks? What about Coca-Cola? I want to drink Coca-Cola at all. As always. Mm -hmm, I think it's here. A great deal of uh, colas, replacement of uh, classic Coca-Cola. And I think uh, I'll buy a big bottle. Coca-Cola Zero, cool cola. This is for me. And maybe maybe mineral water. Don't tell me it's uh, junk food, Coca-Cola. I drink it uh, not so often. Not every day, of course. A lot of mineral waters again a great variety but uh, I want to find something special uh, made in this region and I remember this bottle with swans can you see it oh my god where is it the taste of childhood my dear viewers I'm lucky ah, see it the best mineral water with the with swans Karachinska and this is a dairy section and my dear viewers you may say that um, Magnet is um, a chain and the standards should be the same in any region of uh, our enormous Russia. But sometimes there are local products with local ingredients. For example, farmer products, cheese and milk and yogurt. Have a look. In my opinion, it's wonderful, and I support our farmers every time I try to buy something. You know, I have to choose something very special, maybe maybe cheese. Hmm? What would you choose? Oh yeah, have a look. This is also a cheese in paprika. A dairy section continues here in another row and I see a lot of uh, milk and uh, mm, butter just maybe 15 or 20 kinds of butter and even homemade butter if I'm not mistaken I didn't see such butter in Moscow. And sauces and uh, mayonnaise. <sighs> and this raw is about is about sour cream. A 
and cottage cheese. My dear friends, uh, do you have a cottage cheese in your country? Russians uh, adore this uh, product, this food. It's uh, very healthy and it's good for stomach. Yeah, it's really great. Aren't you tired, my dear viewers, of all this? But I felt I had to make the review of uh, Siberian grocery store. Though it's not the biggest one, but um, the biggest supermarkets are located uh, in the suburbs of cities. Uh, but I'm in the center of Kemerova. And I'm very happy to show you all this abundance. And here is the link to my best videos about, about Chechnya region. <sighs> ah, empty shelves, empty shelves, yes, but with Martin. Russians love Italian beverages.